Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing Inscriptions. Now, I did play some of this game, and then I realized I need to restart this and play for YouTube because it's a really weird and cool game. Very weird. It's a little bit of psychological horror, but not really. Um, it is a rogue right. card game, though. Out what's on this list. But it's really strange, but interesting. I, I don't know. I just wanted to do a, start a series on it. Let's call it an inscription. Now, I'm not going to say how far I got to prevent spoilers, but you are going to experience this with me. All right. So there's new game, continue, options, credits, quit. Can't do new game. But can do continue. All right. That's kind of got an old theme to it, which is pretty hype. Hello. Another challenger has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. So I can play it on any of these four squares. Now play your stoat. Hello, stoat. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifice must be made. So one blood top right. I can sacrifice the squirrel and play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. So, attack, health, pretty straightforward. Deal one damage added to the scale. Yeah, so so if I get enough points, then I can win. So it's a little balanced, kind of. Which is really cool uh, health system, honestly. All right, so I can draw a squirrel or I can draw from my deck. So I will draw from my deck. How reckless of you. <laughs> All right, so I can't do anything, but I can end my turn. Kills Coyote. He passes his turn. Okay, I can play a squirrel. I don't want to sacrifice my stoat because I can just draw a squirrel next turn. I can play more than one card per turn. All right. So now I can look at my cards. So I can scroll. Basically, I use my scroll wheel. I can scroll up, scroll down to look at various things. Or I can use S and D for that. Just to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to sacrifice the two squirrels for my snapper. I'm just going to go again. Yeah, but pretty straightforward game. So that's just how it shows uh, how to play. But yeah, I was playing this game. My brother showed it to me, and it was just like, this is way too cool of a game. To, I don't know. But if you plan on playing this game, I would say play it before watching, because spoilers are pretty big in this game. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. So it's kind of got like Slay the Spire vibes. Add an adder or a cat. And I can right click to read what they do. So, touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay, so death touch and magic. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. So, I can just keep sacrificing this over and over. I think I'll take the cat. Came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Okay, cool. So I guess I can get a squirrel whenever I want. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Okay, wrench. Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh, hello. You didn't sacrifice me. How kind. Maybe you'll help me? Play along for now. So I have a card that talks to me. You may now see my moves ahead of, in, of time. Okay, so how the board works, because this was a little confusing when I started playing. So what he plays here is what he intends to do next turn, but it's not actually like on the board quite yet. I mean, it kind of is, kind of isn't though. This is what his side of the board is, this is what my side of the board is. So I know he's gonna play a wild wolf there or a coyote or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to play my squirrel gonna sacrifice my squirrel for my cat then sacrifice the cat which doesn't get sacrificed for my stoat here we go now the wolf cub is not gonna actually do damage to me because of the boulder um let's draw from our deck wolf so i can't play that quite yet unless i want to sacrifice a stoat which i do not i could use my item in a bottle too the airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. That bat flew right over your stoat. Yeah, so he can just uh, hit me directly with that, which is fine. Um, we're going to just use a squirrel. Sacrifice this for this. And let's put a wolf here. Why not? Okay. And we'll draw from here again. Um, I will use one of my squirrels in a bottle. Just get a wolf on the board right away. Three is the maximum amount of items I can carry. Okay, so don't want to sacrifice anything, so we're just going to boom. There we go. Go forward. Question mark. So we get to choose a card. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. So it costs one, but it's one, one, but then it becomes a three, two. The Meek Sparrow in an expensive, feeble flying creature. So it can hit him directly. Uh, let's take the wolf club, the wolf cub, excuse me. All right, let's go here. So how this works again i've played a little bit of the game but how this works is you choose something to sacrifice and the sigil which is the bottom part gets to be put on a different card of yours so if i choose the cat whatever card i put on top can be sacrificed as many times as i want and it'll be fine this one the card will grow into a stronger creature i'm gonna do this because i haven't done it before where I can have it grow into a stronger creature after one turn. The stoat says, pick me. Hey, I'll pick you, my dude. What an honor. The soul of the wolf club lives on. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Yeah, so pretty much all of his oh he's completely insane you see that right no care for the rules pathetic really enough only keeps me around to watch me suffer oh um but yeah basically any of his wolf cards or canine cards will have airborne so they can just hit me directly all right so let's do this sacrifice for the cat again and then sacrifice that for the stoat which I guess I'll put here. They both have airborne, so it's not gonna kill the stoat. Um, and then we'll end our turn. My totem has granted my Cody the power of flight. Yep. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Oh, he became a 2-5, that's awesome. Okay, so he just gets his stats straight up. Um, let's draw a squirrel, if only to do this. Cool, so we killed his creatures. Almost draw a regular card. Okay. Play. Yeah, but I love the health system in this game. Uh, I love that it's like a tug of war and it can keep going, like non stop back and forth until somebody gets more than the other. I, I, I love that system. I haven't really seen it in other games. I think it's really cool. 
All right, so let's draw a squirrel this time. Play the squirrel, sacrifice the cat, sacrifice the squirrel, play the wolf. Yeah, but this this game is such a cool theme to it as well. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. All right, let's see. Sparrow or sparrow. Adder or a bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's do. Let's do an adder. I feel like the ability to one shot things is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go left because we've already seen that. Let's go to the fire. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. So, they're pretty hungry. Stout's like, hmm. Uh, what's... I don't... It seems scary. Let's go with a... Let's go with a wolf. Okay, so it did get one more power. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Okay. So that seemed good overall. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Oof. Da, da, da. Oof. All right, so he's going to play a grizzly and a sparrow. Okay, so let's play this. Let's play a squirrel. Let's get the cat on the board. Okay, the grizzly's going to kill whatever I play, but I kind of don't have a choice. Uh, Yeah, I kind of don't have a choice. You, you sure? Uh, yeah. Don't really have a choice. Oh, look at that. This has airborne, but the Grand Furs, uh, they're already on the board, and they just act as walls. So that's kind of, that's kind of hype. Okay. Um, let's draw a squirrel. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Boom. Okay. Uh, ooh, I can play an adder. Okay. That's probably worth to kill the right grizzly. A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. Oh, he's playing a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, let's draw this. Wolf. Okay. Let's use... Let's use our wrench. You'll place the weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Pliers. Oh. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. A well-earned point of damage. I don't think you... I didn't think you would really do it. To think the pliers would just go on the scale, right? Um. Okay. What are you... You're a 4-2. So you can't kill the grizzly. You can block the grizzly, though. My adder's gonna die next turn anyways. Ah, oh, this is tough. Okay, let's do this. This, this, and then this. Just to block the grizzly. I think we lose anyways. Just because they have three airborne. Yeah, that's too, that's too much. You've lost? Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. So, what makes this game cool is it's not just the game. Alright, so we can explore. This hammer, some sort of staff, and a candle. A clock. I don't know, an empty painting. Yeah, I don't 
fuck down to this is that? A safe. Pieces. Door. Okay. Um, I think this is the candlestick you wanted, right? Bring it here. What's this? It's a knife. Okay. This is locked. This candle over here. Okay, that didn't do anything. It's a wolf in a cage and a globe. Hello. <laughs> you can kind of kind of see him. I don't know, it's weird. Look at his hand. All right. Sit back down. All right, well, I guess there's nothing else here. Oh, there's candles up here too. Not that that matters. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Well, so lots on the line. Uh, we've already been to a fire. Let's go to the pack. Okay, I do like the snapper. It's got good stats. An adder and a skunk. The creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Okay. Well, it doesn't have any damage, though. I, let's go with the river snapper, I think. That's kind of hype. All right. To the backpack. Okay. I can cut up your cards with scissors. Okay. Squirrel or pliers. I think cutting up cards is pretty OP. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Okay. Uh, that might be kind of strong, actually. So I can, with this, I can put, I can put, give my, all my creatures airborne. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get a squirrel, though. I think having an extra squirrel is always good. So three items is the maximum amount. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Twas the prospector. Yeah, he puts on a mask. Oh, man, it's a creepy mask. All right, let's see. So what does he have? He has a 05 pack mule and a coyote. Okay, so let's place my squirrel, get my cat, and then... Oh, I actually can't do anything. Unless I use my squirrel, then I can do something. And let's get the wolf on the board here, I suppose. So deal four damage to him. That was actually a bad spot to put the wolf. My mistake. Um... He's only going to do two damage to me. I'm okay with waiting. I should have drew a squirrel. Oh, he's going to kill my cat next turn. That's not good. He's going to kill my cat. Um, Let's do this. Sacrifice this. And let's kill the coyote. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm still winning. Um, I might need to use my goat. Yeah, let's use the goat. Oh, I have to sacrifice for the goat. I thought it was free. Um, draw a squirrel. Sacrifice the squirrel for the goat, and then we'll sacrifice the goat for a wolf. We're fine. What's he playing now? He's playing a wolf club. Okay, so I need to kill that. Um, my river snapper is gonna die. I could sacrifice it for a second adder just to kill the wolf. Yeah, I might do that. Okay. Not a second adder, just another, you know, one adder. 
Um, let's draw from here. River Snapper. Can't do too much with that, so we'll just end our turn. Kill the Pack Mule. Oh, we get a bunch of cards. Dag nab it, my mule. All right. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Okay. So now we're gonna draw a squirrel. And let's just place a squirrel. And place a squirrel. And kill, kill. There we go. Okay. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Well, oh, thank you. Um. Okay. I don't have any squirrels, so. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Yep. Yep. All right, so. Now he only has one candle left, so I just need to kill him again. Let's play our stout. Okay. What does a bloodhound do again? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. That's cool. Um, what's Raven's just airborne? Okay. I guess I could place a skunk, which will lower his power. Just kind of tank for a while. Well, I'm out of cards, though. Oh, that does it, though. That does it. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. So, Gek, an uninspiring Gek, perhaps you can find a use for it. So, it's a 1 1, but it's actually free. So, that's actually kind of awesome. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Ooh, a 7 7. Cost 4, though. I, I don't have an easy way of getting 4 unless I had a goat in my deck, which I only had a temporary one. Largely unimpressed with specimen. It will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Uh, on the board. Uh, so, but what does it grow into? I don't know. Uh, I kind of want the 7-7 seven, seven, just because why not? The Gek also I'm tempted for just because it's free. Let's get the 7-7. Seven, seven. The 7-7 seven, seven is pretty much enough to one-shot. Sound the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carried onwards. The rank smell of rot and mold per permeated the humid air. Every step forwards was answered by some nearby slip of slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Yeah, but I just, I just love this the atmosphere and everything of this game. The beaver, when played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. A dam is created on each adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power, two health. Okay. Card bearing the sigil will bark, block an opposing creature. Oh, we already know that. Let's get uh, another river snapper, I think. Well, let's go to the left. Know the deal. Uh, ooh, could sacrifice the adder. Okay, well, what can I buff, first of all? I could give a river snapper the adder buff. That sounds kind of hype. That sounds kind of good to me. Because then it's a 1-6, but it would one-shot, and it's tanky. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Me. Hello. Hello, Stout. 
Let's, let's place a squirrel. Let's get the stoat on the board because that's cheap. Total misplay. What are you talking about? Um, can I read what they do? No, I can't. Um, I can tell you guys what they do. Basically, every turn they turn over and I can't attack the creature. So let's go squirrel. Can't really play anything else, so we'll just vibe. Yeah, so it's this. A card brain the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn when it's while submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay, let's get another squirrel. One, two, and um, I guess I'll get the the wolf for more damage since I can't kill his creatures directly. I'm just gonna have to tug of war, I guess. Okay. And turn. That should be good. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay. Let's go get a card. Ooh. I would like a grizzly, I think. Let's go over here. Maybe we can buff a card. We can give the cat onto any of these. Well, all of these are actually more expensive than my cat. I don't want to do that. But the down, the thing is, you have to. Wait, what if I put the cat up here? There are no compatible sacrifices? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I have to sacrifice the cat. And we'll put it on the snapper, I suppose. I mean, the snapper's good to have on the board. It's tanky. But that's actually bad. I, I wish I could not do that, you know? <laughs> Lucky draw. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do this. Play the stoat as usual. Fine. All right, so let's draw this. Can't really do much, so we'll just chill for now. Just playing a lot of bees, which hit me directly. Let's do that, let's do that, and then let's switch one. This one has death touch. I guess we'll just put that guy here. Okay, we'll draw another squirrel. We'll just attack. Oh, I got a bee. Oh, bees are free. Okay. Well, let's first do squirrels. Sacrifice for the snapper. And I guess play my bee. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? Got another bee. Yeah, so his mantis attacks diagonally. Okay, so let's get a, another card. Let's play this. Card. I'm just kind of chill. Go forward. You were stopped along the way by the trapper, looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Alright, so I can get a pelt and I can buy pelts. And get a golden pill. All right. You're leaving already? Please consider my pelts. Well, that's what I'm trying to grab. <laughs> that's all the monies I had. The trader further down the path would reward you for them. So I get pelts and then I trade them with the trader. Okay. Uh, let's do the fire again, I suppose. 
group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another, but could not stop licking his lips. So they're hungry again. No way. Okay, he doesn't want to go. Who else wants to go? Enhance its health? Dude, <laughs> it's enhanced by 7-7. Seven, seven. It was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdrew. Okay. Again, I have a hard time using it, but... Uh, okay. So I cannot sacrifice rabbit pelts, which is a problem. Keep me alive? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying. Alright. I think we're kind of in trouble here. Oh, I think we're kind of in trouble. Uh, okay, I can't really play anything unless I sacrifice him, which isn't good. So, scissors? Scissors time? Okay. Oh, that's that. If I sacrificed him, that would not have gone well. How disappointing. So I still have one more life, which is kind of hype. I thought I only had one left. Mantis? Okay. Beehive. Okay. Good Mantis. Mantis kind of hype. Well, let's go back to the fire. Actually, I should have went to the left because I have no items. So we can increase its power this time. Pick someone else. Uh, you know what? Bro, you're about to become a big boy once I use you. Oh, boss time. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I'm the angler, go fish. I like how he has all these masks. Just chilling. He's like a DM. <laughs> He's like keeping you captive to play D&D. Uh, &D. Alright, as usual, play the squirrel. Sacrifice for the stoat. For the stoat. Uh, golden pelt to block, I guess? I don't know. Oh, wait, a cat block. Uh oh, that's bad. I made a... Okay, yeah, I actually hope he's still set. That'd be good for me. Okay, I might have actually spoiled a bit. <laughs> Again, I've played some of this game, but... Yeah. The hook do be stealing things. I should have started with YouTube right away, but... I wasn't expecting the game to be so fun. All right, sacrifice that. Let's get our turtle. Uh oh. Uh, I can sacrifice this for this. Oh, he's gonna steal my mantis, which is bad. Oh, wait, we're good? Whoa. Too fast, too soon? <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. So like I said, I've played this game before. And I don't think you're meant to get this far on your first run. So it literally turned all of his stuff into grizzlies. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if I got this guy out of the board. No, I should have drew a squirrel. Oh well, like squirrels aren't useful at this point. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Uh oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that far if I hadn't played before, so 
Oh my goodness, what a what an ending. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's a roguelike game. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. And this is one thing that drew me to this game. When you die, you create your own card. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put it to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Okay, let's do River Stepper for the cost. Okay. It's power and health. The numbers. Okay, well, obviously my 4-2 wolf, I guess. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Okay, so we can give it Death Touch, or we can make it Sacrifice, or we can give it Mantis. I mean, for a 4-2, I think Mantis is most useful. Never did ask your name. Gotta be Hatmaster. There it is, but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. We go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Gain a bone. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to go through this real quick, but I think we will end this off here and we will continue it. But this game's really cool. That was, yeah, that was unexpected. I, I got to the second boss, but yeah, it was on the first run. I wasn't supposed to get that far. And the only way I could have is because I've played this game before. So I kind of knew what to do. <laughs> that was so cool. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end it off there. And I hope you guys enjoy this game. Let me know if you want me to play more of it. And uh, I'll see you guys next next time. Bye, everybody.